What's up guys, today I'm gonna to talk about the three basic, basic kinds of falls that you guys need to know if you're going to wrestle, do judo, etc., to make sure that you guys are falling safely and you're not posting out, you're not hurting your hands, you're not hurting your shoulders, you're not hurting your elbows, and you're not hitting your head. That's the most important thing, okay? The most important thing you need to protect is up here, so you need to make sure you're not getting any head trauma whatsoever from your falls, and then everything else, right? Make sure you don't post, make sure you don't land all at once and get the wind knocked out of you. So the first one we're gonna do is the easiest one. This is the absolute easiest one is the front fall, okay? So you don't wanna catch yourself out with your hands, right? What you wanna do is post on your forearms next to your head, right? And kind of tuck in like a turtle. So you don't wanna fall like this, okay? Cause I don't have a good base, a good base here to stop my head from just going straight down, okay? If you're an experienced wrestler, obviously, you know, sometimes you can, la you can land out here and post yourself and be fine. But for you guys that are inexperienced, just practice falling like this, okay? Just like that, all right? So I'm landing on my forearms right in front of my face, right? So that when I fall, just like that, right? I'm stopping myself from landing my head and face planting right on the ground. So forearms in front, knees first, and fall right on your forearms. Easy enough. Now, let's do the back fall. So the back fall is when, you know, I'm getting pushed back, I'm getting double legged, I'm getting taken down. And I don't have time to turn to the side, okay? The side fall is better. The side fall is a safer fall. You're less likely to hit your head. But if I'm falling straight back and I don't have a chance to turn to the side, I want to make sure I have a good back fall. So I want to make sure I tuck my chin because I'm going straight back and I want to make sure I don't hit my head. I also want to make sure that my legs stay straight out in front of me. I don't want my legs to come up to the ceiling because then, you know, as I fall, if my legs go up to the ceiling, right, the back of my head hits the ground. Whereas if I fall and I keep my legs straight, it's much easier to avoid hitting my head. So I'm lowering my center of gravity, landing butt first, spreading the impact out over the whole body, as much surface area, as much time as possible, right? That's what mitigates the damage from your falls. So we're here, just like that, right? And I'm kind of rolling, you can see, I'm kind of rolling into the fall, right? You don't want to land all at once like, like this, like a big thud, right? That's gonna really suck, even if you don't hit your head. You're gonna get the wind knocked out of you. You don't want that to happen. So, right, squat, lower your center of gravity, butt first, roll. Just like that, okay? Even better than that. And again, because it makes it less likely that you'll hit your head. You wanna swing your back leg and fall to the side. So, I'm gonna swing my back leg just like this, just to practice myself, you know, falling over, falling to the side. Again, butt slash hit first, and then I'm gonna roll the impact out on my side. Once I hit my shoulder, I'm gonna smack on the mat. So here, just like that. And even, even here on my side, I'm still kind of rolling into the impact here, okay? One more time. So swing, squat, pull, right, big smack. I smack with my arms to take energy away from the rest of my body, right? If I don't do that, then my ribs, my back are gonna take more of the force from my fall. When I smack my arm, from fingertip to shoulder, right? Don't do this and don't do this. From fingertip to shoulder, or if I'm falling back, it takes away pressure from the rest of my body when I land, okay? It takes away the power of the impact. So you wanna make sure you do that as well. So there are your basic falls. Make sure you guys know those and you can do them on command anytime from any takedown before you start even thinking about doing live wrestling from standing, okay? If you don't know those falls, do not live roll from standing. There is a very good chance that you will get hurt. You're gonna do something stupid like post out on your hand or your elbow, not as dumb as posting on your hand, but you know, this can break your wrist or it can break your arm. It can shatter your elbow if, you're, you know, if your arm is straight. So there's a lot of bad stuff that can happen. You can hit your head, you can smack yourself and get the wind knocked out of you all at once. So you don't want to do that. You want to make sure you're good at falling. Once you are, then start, you know, start doing some wrestling drills. You know, your coach knows. Your coach will get you through all of these, hopefully. But uh, just in case, in case you're a new white belt out there and you haven't done any takedowns and you want to learn takedowns, this is what you got to get good at first. Okay, so practice those break falls. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.